Hi, I've got a bit of a problem with my uh, main machine here that I do my video editing and rendering on. Um, it's shutting down on me due to a thermal problem by the looks of it uh, when I do CPU rendering. Anyway, um, I've got an AMD Ryzen 9 5900X. It's a 12 core jobby running at 4.2 gig. Um, I've had it for quite a few years now and it's a it's quite a beasty uh, processor for rendering and stuff. Anyway, um, I thought that I'd just have a look and investigate why it's uh, doing this. What I've got is I've got a um, I've got batch files here um, and these are what I do my uh, transcoding with. So this uses a uh, handbrake. So I've got a little uh, script there. It's just a batch file. And let me drag in a 4K video and we'll do X265 uh, conversion and see if we can make this fail. So there's, there's my script there. It's running, it's running. And CPU, you can see that the CPU is going up. It's not quite 100% though, so I'm not exactly maxing it out, but the CPU package is now at 80 degrees. Now it's CPU 72. It's saying it's jumped up 73. I did set the bias to ignore, um, but it still did it anyway, but it's probably not... I bet you it's not gonna, gonna do it, the bastard. Because um, I have been on flat out 100%, so maybe this is not the best file to work from. Should have shut down the whole machine, like the whole machine just shuts down. The whole machine just reboots. But uh, I do believe the CPU uh, maximum is 90, or it's supposed to be, or something. So all the, you know, all, all the voltages and everything else is fine. And yeah, go in the comments down below. Go. Just like everyone's going to be an expert in the comments down below. Knock yourself out. Go. Oh, hey, there it goes. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I will eventually on this machine here, it will reboot and I will get a, uh, I've got a Asus A5, A580 or so. Oh, no, no, it's booted. No, it's doing the Windows thing. Oh, um, usually it, it gives me an error message saying CPU over temp. Put up a screen, I'll insert a screenshot here because I did actually uh, take a photo of it. I put it on Twitter and yeah, it's okay. Windows is booted again, but it shuts down. So obviously... There's something wrong with this uh, stupid thing. And I have noticed the error message, like the uh, bias boot message, uh, very occasionally just saying CPU over temp, but that's because it was set to like 80 degrees and it had just like, it, it always worked fine. So this has only happened recently. I've always flogged the CPU at 100% doing rendering. Hasn't been a problem. So I suspect that, um, yeah, either something's kind of like a fan, well, the fan seems to be operating at normal uh, speed, 1300 RPM or something, uh, the bias says. I should... CPU fan, 1300. Um, yeah, go on. Crap all about my bias. Crap on all about all your technical doodads is not set up correctly. Oh, your envelope's not up, is set up correctly for your fan control. Everyone on Twitter told me all about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Go on. Um, <laughs> knock yourself out. <laughs> really. Um, anyway... So I did set it to um, ignore, but uh, it, it still does it. So obviously, I think, like I have seen it, like when it boots up, it pops up with you know, a CPU over temperature error, press F1 to continue or something like that. Um, but it's never been a problem. It's never shut down. But I've seen it happen maybe less than a handful of times over the last six months. Um, but this is the first time that it's shut down using like handbrake uh, transcoding. So yeah, I assume that... Either something's happened, um, or you know, like you know, in terms of like physically, um, the thermal paste has dried out. I don't know. The heat sinks come loose. I don't know. So anyway, I'm gonna pop her open now. But uh, yeah, it didn't come up the message because the CPU is only at 54 now. But it definitely shut off. So let's open this stupid thing. Headlamp time. So yeah, I think the most likely problem here is that. Something's physically failed, like it's aged, the thermal paste is aged, or, you know, something like that. It might have even, might have even come loose because they're spring-loaded heat sinks, aren't they? I don't know how this one connects. Jeez, I really need to vacuum under here. It's terrible, Muriel. Fan's definitely working. The rear fan's working. Everything's working. So, it is like physically on its side like that, so maybe, I don't know, I think I'm going to have to shut it off and uh, take the 
heat sink out. I don't even remember how the damn thing comes out. So I can confirm that it's upright and it doesn't, it doesn't feel loose. I can give it a wiggle, 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 yeah in there, but yeah, it's not, it's not loose. Oh yeah, that's, there's a clip on this side here. Sorry, I'm not going to bother framing this video at all. Everyone's just going to bitch in the comments and everyone's going to have a different opinion and I'm just going to ignore everyone. So, no worries. Right. Tongue at the right angle. Come on, there's a clip under there. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. That is, yeah, dry as a dead dingo's donger. Um, that is crusty burger. Well, wasn't as good as when it went on anyway, that's for sure. So, yeah, there it is down there. It doesn't look too terrific, does it, I guess? But, eh, anyway, um, get some freshy. Um, yeah, I'd say I've run out. <laughs> Oops. So there it is. I'm no expert on uh, paste, but I'm guessing that, uh, yeah, like aged paste, but I'm guessing that um, is too high a thermal resistance and maybe it's going to the thermal, um, you know, cut out and it's just, yeah, it's just dried out. It's gotten progressively worse because that's kind of the symptoms, I guess, maybe. But yeah, anyway, so I'm going to clean that off with some isopropyl and uh, we get some new stuff. Now, I was going to get the absolute cheapest heap of crap that the local computer store uh, had just to trigger everyone in the comments. And this is what everyone, this is what the majority wanted. Here's the poll for yourself, okay? Unfortunately, just went to the computer shop. This is the Cooler Master high performance thermal compound stuff is the best, um, and, well, is the only one that they had. So I didn't have a choice. So I had to get yeah, Cooler Master high performance thermal compound. So it is not Arctic nano graphene wank um, stuff. It is um, just whatever they had, HTK002 or whatever. And for those who think that this was applicated in applicated is that a word i don't know anyway leave it in the comments um the application of this um was not proper because oh you obviously didn't do your little uh, p dot in there and let it spread and all that sort of crap this is how cooler master recommended here's the guide and they actually even give you an applicator to actually and a template by the looks of it that you stick on top of your cpu it looks like it's got a cut out in there so it looks like i guess you peel that out you get that out and then you apply with your applicator um and and a big square of paste in there and that's what they that's what they recommend because i would presume that it's um it has to maybe for this um well i don't know are all cooler master heat sinks like this but anyway uh, let me rub this off and i'll show you okay so i've cleaned that off and you can see that it uses these four copper bus bars here and it's if you try and feel that this is not feel a vision but trust me there are that is not perfectly machined absolutely perfectly flat so i would presume that if you put a little dot of thermal paste in the middle you know everyone's saying, oh put a pea-sized amount of you know thermal paste and then it and then it's supposed to spread out well no you could actually end up if there's slight imperfections this, this isn't perfectly machined i can imagine this is my guess that it's not it could get trapped in like these things here and it won't spread out to these outer parts it might just sort of like ooze out along there for example if you put it in the middle it might not make it out here so i guess that's why they recommend to actually um you know use this square template and put a square amount of uh solder paste uh, solder paste <laughs> Have I been saying solder paste this whole time? Thermal paste, <laughs> thermal compound um, on there because it, it's just totally consistent. There's no like guessing what size of the thing you have because you've got the thickness of this. So you just rub it like that. It's like applying actual solder paste, really. Um, you know, how you have a solder paste uh, template and, you know, stainless steel one and you, and you apply your solder paste. It applies a perfectly even amount of solder paste so yeah that is my guess so no bloody complaints in the comments that i'm applying the solder paste wrong this is the recommended method by cooler master so suck it so it turns out those templates are kind of dumb so i'm just going to go ahead and spread it i don't know how much is required it's probably too much is it i don't know i probably should have 
put a few more dots or whatever on there but I'm going for the full coverage method as they call it I believe I don't know leave it in the comments down below because everyone's an expert so yep I'm absolutely doing it wrong and that's just fine because I love the triggering in the comments it's hard to say is that enough or not I'm tempted to think it's probably not enough don't want too much of course but as I said there are gaps in that heat sink so there you go I reckon that's a nice that's a nice full coverage that'll do that's good enough for Australia and yes I know the fans pointed the wrong way relax okay it's the fan it's the one that I had and I wasn't gonna change it so uh, whatever it is good enough for Australia I'm telling you so give it a little wiggle 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 yeah that feels like it went down nicely clip that down so yeah no worries all right turn it back on that's reapplicated everyone's going rawr, 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 in the comments go for it go for it knock yourself out yeah I can't actually remember what the ambient temperature was before but we're talking the CPU is reporting 45 46 it's it's going up I'm just idling I'm not doing anything you know I've got my browser open with my 50 tabs but apart from that um, I'm not I'm not doing anything at all and yeah, I don't know anyway um the motherboard I guess down here it weighted 44 degrees I don't know it's slightly different this one gives greater resolution up here coming from the CPU I'm guessing so x265 at let's go 23 quality here 50 yeah it's jumped up 60 degrees but that's uh, a lot better than what it was right yeah, we're not quite uh, flogging this 100%. I'll have to find a thing that actually flogs it 100%. Um, it's just, I don't know, I guess the file that I'm uh, using at the moment is not doing that. But Okay, this is 4K directly from my card. X265. Yeah, it's hovering around that 80% CPU usage mark. So anyway, um, I think the temperatures are much better. I don't remember. I don't recall because it is an, the next day now. So I'll look at this in the edit, but there you go. Um, I, I'd be surprised if I didn't solve the problem. I think it was just crusty thermal paste. Uh, you know, it could be something else. It could be like power supply, you know, dropping out or something. But, you know, you go down to the power supply voltages here and they're all fine. You know, it's not like they're dipping 3.36, 5.06, 3.32. Guess that all seems fine. So yeah, no worries. I don't think it's a uh, power supply. I think it was just crusty thermal paste. Anyway, I'm sure everyone will have their expert opinion in the comments down below. Catch you next time. And wouldn't you believe it? Murphy says it doesn't work. I still get this dropping out. Unbelievable. So I don't think it's the thermal. Um. So I'm going to have to run this test here. And I'm just going to have to look at these parameters. Um, like 60 to 70 CPU package is 74. Um, I don't know. Is that normal? 75, 63. I'm not sure. Hopefully you can see this. But anyway, I'm rendering in the background. Jeez, I don't know. So like the voltages, I don't know. I'd have to wait until this drops out and see if, you know, maybe there is a, if it is like a power supply dropping out or something like that. Maybe I might be able to see something. Yeah, so this is interesting. Once again, like I haven't changed anything. Nothing's changed in the BIOS. This machine's been working fine for years. And the voltages look okay. So unless like there's some thermal issue in the power supply and then it's dipping and whoop, the whole motherboard goes down. But the, the thing is, it only does it for CPU rendering. It doesn't do it if I do GPU. I can do 100% GPU. I can be flogging that RTX 2060 card like the clappers and it it doesn't do it this is only when the cpu gets to like you know is like highly taxed for at least you know it's like 80 percent or whatever taxed um and for, for at least a few minutes a significant amount of time probably won't do it now you watch but anyway i did go to lunch i came back 
and <laughs> the thing had reset, it's not the thermal. So I'm not going to say that was a waste of time. Thermal uh, paste was a bit crusty, so I don't know. I've renewed my thermal paste. That's good. But otherwise, wah, 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 wah. Come on. Die, you bastard. Whoa, yes. Blue screen of death. What I did is I just render, I just started a render, it can't be a coincidence, just started a uh, render of a second video at the same time. I often do that, multiple ones. I've done this, I, like I've shown screenshots before of me uh, transcoding like <laughs> 10 different videos all at once. I did a second one which took the CPU to 100% and bingo, it just reset itself because I was already waiting here five minutes and it didn't do it. So there you go. Um, there, there's something. There's something about Mary, um, but I, I'm going to leave it for this video. Um, I do have a workaround, of course, because I know using the GPU rendering with Handbrake uh, is, is fine. So it, it's not a problem at all. I've flogged it to death using GPU rendering. The problem with GPU rendering is that uh, it's a bigger file size and the quality isn't quite as good as CPU. So if you've got a choice, CPU rendering, it takes longer, a little bit longer, not a huge amount, but uh, yeah, it, but you do get better file size, smaller file size and better quality. So um, I don't know, leave it in the comments down below. Um, I'm going to have to look back at those numbers, but... Uh, yeah, I, you saw there was a blue screen of death there. I hadn't seen that before, but uh, you couldn't capture the whole... Not sure what the message was, but there was a blue screen of death, and it just uh, reboot. Oh, there's so many things you could experiment with here. I could be spending bloody weeks just experimenting for trying to find what this problem is. But, like, i got to get on with work, you know? So, and the machine works fine. I can flog it to death. And uh, video rendering is not, uh, like using DaVinci Resolve is not a problem. Playing back video is not a problem. But handbrake CPU rendering, yeah, I just took it to 100% and it just failed. Um, in fact, I might try that once more and capture that blue screen of death. So here you go. I've got one, one video rendering. I'm going to drag in a second one. And that should take the... CPU to 100% and performance, yeah, yeah, right, it's now it's now hovering around that 100% mark, I don't have a browser open, so it's doing nothing else on this machine. It happened like seconds after I started the second video, maybe, maybe I can tax it even more, I can do a third one, let's go for broke, let's tax this machine out, come on. Yeah, it goes much slower now. <laughs> it never used to do that. That's only a recent thing. I think since I changed my video card for some reason it's done that. Not sure what the reason I'm not sure what that is, but that that is that is flat chat. Almost hundred percent, you know, that is hundred percent, ninety-nine percent utilization on the processor, but she ain't dead yet. Come on, I wanna see that what that blue screen of death message is. I'm still erring towards the most likely thing is like a processory thermally thing, right? Because when I stress it, it doesn't do anything unless I stress the CPU. Granted, I haven't stressed the CPU. I'll have to use like, a, use like CPU Z or something to run like a little benchmarky thing and just stress the CPU. So that's another test that I'll have to do. I won't do that in this video, but I just want to... Oh, there, yep, there, no blue screen of death. <sighs> Wouldn't you know it? Unbelievable. I <laughs> mean, come on. Seriously? Anyway, that's enough. Thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time.